please welcome to the G-Spot, Marina Hinchcliffe. Ooh. Now, Marina, you've done very well in a very short space of time. Oh, I don't know about that. A bit modest. So you started off in Blackpool, like Kyle, and yes. now you went to Las Vegas for your second series. Yeah. How did that fare? Was it difficult? Well, Blackpool and Las Vegas are both full of nutters. Both, both places have just... You go in there and there's just nutters everywhere. It's true. It's true. It, isn't it? It's, it's true. true. There's just true. nutters everywhere. Though, the big plus with Las Vegas is it's 24 hours. Mm. Everything's right. 24 hours. So what time do you start filming? Midnight. It's bigger, Brenna. Sorry? <laughs> do you start filming midnight? Go yeah, we, I think we just lost track of time completely <laughs> the whole week. The whole two weeks, because we were there for two weeks, actually. And... Um, we filmed like, it depended what we had to do through the day. We filmed a couple of clubs and that took us in to about four o'clock in the morning that. And I won a hundred dollars in a dancing competition. But I've I actually seen you dancing in a couple of cages. And they were giving, the punters were giving you money. <laughs> I saw a 20 bill note go into your knickers. Oh no, that was really bad because I was like, do you want to get up in the cages? And I was like, pulling Helen to one side going, I need a vodka. <laughs> I need a vodka. I cannot do this. So, so they're like, else just know. give the girl a vodka. <laughs> no, Go to me. And I was like, yeah, I did it. And All it for the sake worse. of the camera. It, it, it got worse as the holiday went on, didn't oh, it? Oh, damn you. It wasn't By supposed to be a holiday. Night, she was supposed to be working. I was working. <laughs> By the last night, Marina was dancing with a bird. Oh, kill me. You kill me. And? <laughs> no, no. It's, it's not something that I'm inclined to do. But after several, several straight vodka shots along the bar um, they were coming quite thick yeah and I was like I hope this is going to be worth it um, <laughs> yeah I sort of like put on a bit of a show but what with a girl yeah but Can we get I'm not that way inclined I'm not <laughs> funnily enough God. Tony, no, listen, we were in that sort of enough. state when we, picked, when we picked Marina to be babe 2k uh -huh. we were in that sort of state as well weren't we well, I'm glad I didn't see you getting but it on with her but we did make a, a marvellous choice because you actually got the highest viewing figures that Men and Moses ever received for Blackpool Rocks. Ooh. Round of applause. I was really nervous too. So I how did that go? How. Was that your? Were you very nervous presenting? I for the was first time really or? nervous. I've done. The thing is, I've done loads of like acting and drama, and I used to teach drama workshops and things like that. And I used to be able to sing until I started smoking um, cigarettes. <laughs> and um, but I've done loads of that. And I thought when I got that Babe 2K thing, I was like, yeah, I was quite confident. Yeah, presenting, I'll be fine. But when I went up to Blackpool, I would just, I just, I suddenly became illiterate. I couldn't speak, and I was like, Well, you would have blended in well then. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> That's just because you met my brother. That was... Yeah, I did. I met his brother. <laughs> but I, I thought, God, it's whole new ball of wax, and I took the whole. It took the whole series to get used to it, and I still wasn't fully used to it. Did you send any postcards you. home from there? No, I just, no. <laughs> the thing is, with Blackpool, is Dave and I were driving out, and it was the last we'd, f we'd finished, and the road going out of Blackpool says, Progress Way, and we're like, <laughs> yelp, yelp, Progress Way, let's get out of here. She's definitely making some progress. Though. I think she spent too long in the States. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, it's now time.